I'm here much later than I wanted to be, but I've made it to some of my favorite hot springs and it is already snowing. Nights like this are truly why I love winter car life. I came in just in time. It is getting quite windy out there. I'm gonna get changed though. Okay, so <coughs> I think I'm getting sick. Good thing you can't get it through the phone. I need to make dinner and I think it's too windy and cold outside to be doing it outside, but the meal I planned is something that I think is a little bit more involved. So I'm gonna try to make it in here and just see how it goes. I have very low expectations considering I spilled coffee on my bed this morning. why olive oil sucks when it gets cold. It does solidify. You may at this point be wondering what I'm making. I'm also not quite sure yet, but I figure, you know, you throw cherry tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, oil, basil, garlic, you throw that all in a pan with pasta, maybe some tomato paste, I don't know. You're gonna get something to eat. <laughs> So I ended up making, I guess, like, I don't, I don't know what I made, but it's really good. <laughs> I always blast my heat while I'm getting ready for bed, just so that by the time I crawl into my sleeping bag, my car's warm, I'm warm, and then I have a much better night's sleep. <laughs> Well, you can definitely tell which side the wind's blowing on. They're saying 35 to 45 mile per hour gusts tonight, wind chill negative five, very dramatic numbers, but we shall see. I'm not worried. Good night. Oh my God, the sound of hail has woken me up. Good morning. I was literally about to get out of my car to go soak, but a car just pulled up right next to the hot springs. But there are other hot springs in the area, so I am gonna go quick drive to those. My bra is completely frozen. <laughs> I'm defrosting my sports bra. <laughs> the nice thing about these hot springs is I am literally walking out my door to the hot springs, which is why I'm not wearing a jacket. Obviously, if I had to go further, I would highly recommend a jacket in winter. <laughs> Holy shit. I swear, it's always after storms and bad weather that you just get the prettiest sunrises. <laughs> oh man, I guess I have to get out, don't I? Maybe. I've been like working myself up to getting out. <laughs> My towel is frozen. I'm gonna go start my car. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Whew. 
feel alive. <laughs> And gold. I'm gonna go check out and see if those people have left the other hot spring though, just so I can show you guys that one during the daytime. Ooh, they're gone, let's go! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. This one is definitely better. I think because the other pool is just so much bigger, it's definitely colder because there's just not as much hot water coming in and it's just a bigger space to heat. So I do recommend this one more. It is officially time to get out again. I actually have another hot spring that I'm going to go to tonight. I don't know if it's an actual hot spring, so I want to kind of go see if it exists or not. But I think that's like a three or four hour drive away, so... I got places to be. I got my coffee, I've gotten changed, I am presentable, it is time to drive. That moment where you can finally see the road after, I think it's been like 70 miles of just snow-packed, white, Difficult to tell where the road and the shoulder start and end going less than 40 miles per hour in the entire way. That's just stressful driving. Now this is a bit more relaxing driving. I appreciate that. Finally got it right. So thanks for being wrong, but I hope My ability to drive to very remote places really should be studied. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. But there's a map that told me there's a hot spring back here, so we are gonna try. There's also a one review on Google that says it was too hot to get in. Well, there's definitely hot water out there, so let's go explore. <laughs> Ow. Yes, okay, that is quite hot. So the structure behind me, from what I could read, is actually the remains of an old bathhouse. So I guess this place used to actually get people coming by to soak, but clearly it has fallen into disarray a bit. I think the consensus on these hot springs is someone would have to come and actually like divert the water and build pools to more regulate the temperature because the water is just really hot. It's definitely too hot to soak in even though it's currently like 20 degrees outside. But it is beautiful. I mean, this area is just stunning. I love it here. But this is good. It's always fun to adventure and find places that nobody comes to. And it's good to know that it's here, because it is possible to build something here, I think. I don't know. Maybe that'll be something I do this year. Build my own personal hot spring. I like the sound of that. Oh, I just started hailing. I love this weather. You just don't know what you're gonna get. <laughs> 